Hi, I'm Tim from Seafloor Systems. Um, today we're going to make a video um, to show you how to use GPS controller to configure um, a Trimble GPS unit. Um, pretty much um, all of them, the GEOs, this is a, a Trimble uh, Pro 6T. Um, basically they're all, they, they're all done pretty much the same. So um, here's the GPS. It's um, this is a 6T. I'm just going to turn it on. As you see, I have one end of this Trimble cable. It's a nine pin RS-232. I have it in the back of our PC. Um, and I'm going to put this in and tighten it down. Um, you have to install the right uh, version driver. Uh, this is 2.70 for Windows 7. Um, if you use a data collector, you know, Windows Mobile, then you, you choose that, that driver. The first thing I like to do is I click the button to, to connect it's called, to GNSS. Uh, as you see, you see the satellite. It has zero satellites. We are indoors. Um, but at least it's starting to connect. That, that means at least I know it's connecting. Next thing I do is I go to real-time settings. Um, choice one right now says use uncorrected GNSS. If you have the option, you always choose integrated SBAS. Um, choice two, you could put use uncorrected, um, but without this SBAS uh, as choice one and and setting it up like that, you will you will not get on the sub meter. You you are going to get two to five meters. So it's very important. Um, we will click uh, this wrench uh, integrated tracking mode auto. That's okay. So this is what it should look like. That's fine. Okay. We actually have three satellites and we're inside a garage. That's pretty amazing. Um, so, the next thing we're going to do is go over the GNS settings. Uh, GNS receiver port is COM7. I guess that's designated uh, by the, the unit. Uh, I, have use, I have it on use smart settings, so it'll actually uh, choose the best settings that are available. NMEA output. Um, it's, on, it's off right now. You must turn that on. Then hit the wrench and... Um, we're going to be using this thing, uh, this 6T is going to go Bluetooth to a data collector. So I have to tell it to, to go Bluetooth. That's our primary, Bluetooth 1. If I was going to bring, leave the serial, I would leave the serial in and choose, uh, you know, port 1 serial. But I'm not. Um, output interval, I like, our echo sound is going to be pumping out two times a second. So I want to put this out as fast as possible, which is once a second. Um, the baud rate is 9600, 8, 1, none. Um, it comes standard with GGA checked. You want that checked. VTG is normally checked also. It's, um, if you're going to bring it into high pack or something like that, you could leave that checked so you get a speed, but we don't need that. So I'm going to uncheck that. So here it is. Everything's set up. I hit OK. And everything looks good. So now I hit OK. And very important here is you don't just close out. You must disconnect from GNSS. Are you sure to want to disconnect? Yes. Okay. Now, now that I've disconnected, um, if I connect again, which I will, and it started very quickly, you look, all my settings have stayed. So there it is. NMEA is on, uh, 9681, so everything's stayed the way I wanted it. So that, that's it. Now we've, t we've set up this GPS. It is, it's going to output an NMEA over Bluetooth. Every time I turn it on, it's going to do that. So I'm going to disconnect again, and it's, it's configured now.